Today we'll learn how to edit videos in Photoshop. You've heard it right. Photoshop can edit video without their need of the flagship video editor, Premiere Pro. If you're just starting out in video editing, this could be a great way to get familiar with editing processes such as color correction, cuts, transitions, and mixing music. To get started, let's switch to workspace type with the drop down menu located at the top right corner of your screen and select motion. Below we can see the timeline where our footage will be sequenced. Select create video timeline and a new layer will be created. This is only temporary as Photoshop needs at least one layer active for this to function. To add your footage, you can select the plus icon and find all your clips in this window. I've left the link in the video description to the footage I'm using. What will happen when you import more than one video is that the video clips will be placed on one video strip as a video group. In most cases, we want them to be separated. So in the layers panel, drag the clips out of the folder and then delete the folder. Now our clips have independence and we can put them in order. A common mistake is that when you reposition clips vertically, they lose their independence and become grouped again. To combat this, drag and hold the video you want to go over, wait for the singular line to appear, and then release the video. Remember that you can use Ctrl Z to always undo any mistake you make in Photoshop. I'm going to play my video now. If it's lagging a lot, you can drop the resolution down to 50 or 25% using the settings icon. From here, you can add things like a curves adjustment layer to one video at a time, or make it global by positioning your adjustments on top of everything. You can do things like placing text and keyframing the endpoint, dragging your text layer away from the composition and then adding the start point. So when you play it back, the text animates on the screen. You can paint things out, although these actions are limited to one frame at a time. So consider this like a stop motion workspace where every frame represents 30 images, all frames that you have to manually adjust. And after some time, this is what I created. Once you're happy, to save it, go to File, Export, Render Video. Don't worry about anything other than the name and location as the H.264 settings are universally accepted everywhere. I hope you found this quick overview useful. Now is your time to spend some time with it and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And this was Design Dummy.